larger aggregate, just looking at it, is bust. And, and even the establishment starting to admit that, and they're buying armored vehicles, and the Pentagon admits they're preparing for collapse, and Europe's preparing. So, so we know what's happening. But just like when you were on a few months ago, I said, look, I get that there is going to be deflation. That's probably where this goes. But the elites have been taking trillions, bailing out their too big to fails, giving it to themselves. And so you can see luxury items, Bentleys, big houses, yeah. helicopters, they're all double, triple, huge inflation because the elite are being smart. They're keeping it all to themselves. The problem is it leaks out. There is some trickle down. And so now it's causing inflation in a lot of areas. The QE, even though it's slowing, look at meat prices exploding. Look at state, everybody. I go out, everything's going up in price. Uh, when I was in the Caribbean, I said, why is stuff so expensive? They said, well, we're pegged to the dollar here. You know, I mean, my God, they were aware of it. And, and, and that's how inflation works. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's generally worse outside the country first. Then those dollars start coming back in, the different M1, M2. So break down for me how we're seeing inflation, but also there is a deflation in business, deflation in some of the real markets, trillions of dollars chasing the stock market, uh, pumping it up with QE dollars. Or, I mean, aren't we seeing a, a stock market inflation, just like we see in some commodities? Yeah. Explain this to me. Yeah, that's what we see. What you get, and this only happens once in a lifetime. That's why people don't understand it and see it. The last bubble economy we had was from World War I into the Roaring Twenties. And in that time, you get debt growing way faster in the economy. You can't, a debt grew from 1983 to 2008 at its peak, private and public debt together grew at 2.6 times our economy, our GDP. You can't do that for 25 years without getting a huge debt imbalance. So you get too much debt. That overstimulates the economy. The government then on top of that pours in money every time we have a recession and pushes down interest rates. And that causes even more borrowing and leverage. So you create more and more leverage, again, like a financial drug, like, like steroids or crack, a financial enhancing drugs. And basically it creates bubbles. Businesses- Sure, I understand. So you're, but, but I mean, explain to me how you're saying we're gonna see uh, you know, depressionary stuff but, uh, I mean, economists didn't think till the 70s you could have inflation and, de uh, and depression, but then they had stagflation. Would this right. be hyper-stagflation? Or once it blows up and pops, is it so bad, then things will implode and then that will take out the inflation? I mean, what's happening? Yeah, yeah actually, I was, in, in, in chapter one of my book, I showed four seasons of our economy. Spring boom, a summer stagflation, high inflation recession, which again, economists never understood even when it happened. It's part of the model that repeats once in a lifetime all throughout history. Then you get a fall bubble boom when that inflation falls, you get very low interest rates. That's when technologies move most mainstream, like uh, microcomputers in this one and automobiles in the roaring 20s and stuff like that. And that, But when you get this bubble, people over borrow, over expand, over leverage, and then when, when the generation cycles turn down, the bubbles burst, and you get a huge debt deleveraging. I mean, in the health industries, they call it a detox. Or if somebody's coming off drugs, they call it a detox. It's a debt detox. What happened in the Great Depression is that we went from debt being 190% of GDP down to 60%. We shed a ton of debt, trillions and trillions of dollars of debt, most of it private debt because government deficits only tend to go up in downturn because their revenues go down and their costs go up. But we shed debt. The economy rebalanced. The bubbles burst. Real estate went back down to reality. Stocks crashed 89%. See, all this, these top 1% of people that are controlling all the assets, they're the ones that are going to get hit the worst when this bubble finally bursts and doesn't get cranked back up by the government. The government has saved the banks and has saved the top 1%. And it screwed the everyday household. What should have happened is we should have written down these mortgages, which were way over lent by banks. And they're the sophisticated people, not the everyday household. Way over lent against high home valuations. Those home valuations need to come down where a young family can afford a home again. Mortgages need to be written off. If the average person had had their mortgage written down and half in line with their house, they would be a lot better off instead of worse off. So it's this, the financial bubbles bursting. Dow goes from 17,000. My ultimate target is more like three to 4,000 down the road around 2020. That's going to destroy, you know, 80% of people's wealth. You got 18, uh, $80 trillion in net worth that could be cut in half. That's money that disappears. 
home prices drop, stock prices drop, all this sort of stuff. A lot of debt gets restructured and written off. That means, as I said earlier, money disappearing. It never comes back, or at least for a long time. And that creates deflation. So it's the opposite of the inflation what I call summer season we saw in the 70s. And that's the way the economy goes. It goes from mild inflation in spring to high inflation in summer to falling inflation again, which everybody loves in fall, and then to deflation in winter. This happens over and over and again. It used to be every 50 to 60 years when our lifespans were that. Now our lifespans are more like 80, so this cycle is more like 80 years. Economists don't understand this. They don't understand the dynamics of the free market system, why deflation and inflation actually stimulate the strongest innovations that pay off for decades. They also, I mean, having home prices come back down, having a lot of debt written off, restructuring our entitlements, which we can't even remotely afford what's been promised by the government for Medicare, Medicaid, and, and Social Security. Exactly, it makes things cheaper, economy. it makes things cheaper. We'll be right back, stay with us. I, I wanna ask you a few other questions on the subject. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez, worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is gonna collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend, Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances? that gives your skin rashes. Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one to four year supply of pure soaps or our one to two month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry, and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. What if there was a secret powder that, if consumed, would awaken your inner genius and raise your IQ? What if this powerful secret powder could not only make you smarter, but happier as well? What if the secret powder could lessen withdrawal symptoms from most addictions? Do you think that no such powder exists? Wrong. The secret powder does exist. Want to know its secrets? Then go to thesecretpowder.com and get your free sample today. Go to thesecretpowder.com and change your life forever. You are now in the crosshairs. The NSA and the FBI are treating you like a criminal and monitoring your every move. Ron Paul said recently, the evidence of the totalitarian nature of this government is on display undeniably every day. What's taking place right now is a coup and the destruction of the Constitution. But a friend and patriot has discovered a loophole. Find out about the NSA loophole before they shut it down at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terraganix. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM-1 from Terraganix. Life's getting better. get a little frantic on air with guests like Mr. Dent because we're not really talking about something that's rocket science here. It's historical. Now, he takes it and, and, and shows it in a scientific way uh, so people can see the facts for themselves, but this is all common sense. And I've studied the establishment. Uh, they have created models where they think they're going to get more power out of this incremental collapse and domesticate us, break our will. But they're smoking their own dope. They can't manage their way out of a wet paper bag. And Obama vacations four months a year. 
So this is not going to go well. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but it runs from bad to worse with a lot of crazy mixed in. And I don't want to see this like some Planet of the Apes scenario. I mean, I've seen some of these governmental and corporate interests that have just wrecked other countries that were great nations. Um, and like it happened to Chile uh, and others. And I just am so sad to see them trying to turn this country uh, into a third world nation. And I guess I'm involved in collective hand wringing, just saying, how do we wake people up? And I think it's with the fundamentals, it's the basics. But um, what do you expect the political class in Europe, the United States, and other places to do when one of these crises goes over the edge, like Ukraine, ISIS in the Middle East, uh, China could, is blowing up all the time. People say, where's the meltdown? Where's the blow up? Look at the societal rot, the cities, the dozens of states about to go bankrupt, hundreds of cities already bankrupt, all the numbers just, just so astronomical. I mean, it's guaranteed. It's like a guy that's had five heart attacks and he's you know 85 years old and they're saying he's got to walk up the Empire State's building stairway. I mean, you know, we don't know if he's going to have a heart attack this time, but he's going to have one soon is what I'm saying. Uh, I just feel like I'm sitting on top of a bunch of lit TNT, Harry. Well, there's, you know, in addition to our demographic cycles, I have an innovation cycle every 45 years. It's very simple. A geopolitical cycle that turns negative every 18, I mean, every 36 years from 9-11 uh, into the end of this decade. This cycle continues to point down and everything has gone wrong since then. The Middle East is an outright Shia Sunni civil war that's going to blow up now that we're not willing to intervene anymore. Uh, and I don't think we should have been the first place in that case. China is going to have unbelievable social unrest when this bubble bursts. They've got 221 million unregistered rural citizens living in cities that aren't even aren't even <laughs> legal people there. And, and they don't have any skills. They're tolerated like illegal immigrants here in the United States. And the boom, they will not be tolerated in the bus. They're going to have huge problems. So things are going to get worse. And, and we've got strong polarization in this country. And, you know, when this bubble bursts, it's, it's going to be bad next time. And I think what, what I see happening is everybody's been telling people it's okay. You know, the leaders in Europe, the leaders in the U.S., the Chinese, oh, we can manage this. We can have a soft landing. We can engineer our economy. These people are going to lose credibility because they told us it was going to be okay. Warren Buffett's telling people it's going to be okay, and I think he should shut up. He's a great guy, but he shouldn't be talking about economics because he doesn't understand the economy, and he's misleading people. People are going to be very upset, and, and that's when they're going to listen to the people who told them the right thing in the first place. I, you know, I, I'm popular with a certain group of people and in certain arenas like this. CNBC has me on just as a contrary person. They don't agree with me. They, they don't want to hear what I have to say, but people are going to remember people like you or I or other people said, hey, there's a problem here. Hey, there's a crisis coming. So people are going to naturally listen to those people and not to the sure. people that told them everything's okay, we can manage sure, it. Sure, sure. Uh, Harry Dent, I don't want to uh, you know, bug you too much. I know you're a busy guy, but I'd like to get you back soon to specifically give people tips. I, mean, I know you can't give them individually tips, but, but maybe take an hour of calls and talk about what people individually could do if you were them. So hopefully you'll come back on the next few weeks. Yeah, yeah, I've got to go to Australia, but I'll be back uh, like early August. So yeah, Let's do it. Soon. And, and yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to you finish? We're back in one minute. If you do yeah. five more minutes, we'll let you finish. All right, harrydent.com. Uh, Alex yeah. Jones, you can find the new chapter, the, the ghost chapter. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I could take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139, InfoWarsLife.com. 
Live life healthy. Coast to 